Hello guys, what is going on? It is Paul F here once again. We are back in the Paul F uh, Flight Crew Fam 5PD server. Shoot another episode of 5PD. Oh my gosh, what is going on out there? It is good to have you all back. Hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Hopefully you guys caught the uh, first inaugural OCRP air show earlier. If you haven't, make sure you go back and check it out. We're going to be down in the Davis District uh, for this uh, early morning patrol. Um, we're going to be cruising around in the uh, beautiful uh, LSPD uh, Liberty One uh, Caprice 2013. Uh, there is a couple other uh, Flight Crew Fam members on the server uh, on patrol in the Davis District as well uh, for the LSPD. So it is quite likely that we will uh, see them out there on patrol. Let's hop into our car here. We'll do our, uh, you know, usual functional checks, functional systems checks anyways, before we hit the road. It's just our sirens. All right, everything seems to be working. We'll just do a quick 360 around the car, make sure all the lights are working. I marked 10-8, uh, but 10-6, uh, just to say hello to all you awesome people out there. She looks good. It's an absolute beaut. All right. Looks like we are all set to go. Let's uh, get out there and see what we can get uh, into. That is requesting code 3 back, but I'm not too sure what is going on. Metro 901, I'll be in route for the uh, code 3 assistance call. Responding from 130 Rogue and Carson. All I know is that. Can you advise uh, who needs to go through assistance? All I hear, all I heard was background in that. Um, all I know, guys, is that a unit had requested uh, code three assistance, so we're uh, responding right now to back up that unit. Um, and we heard the background going on. Uh, all I heard was sirens, so something uh, serious must be going on. We'll try to get up there and help out. All I heard was the sirens in the background. Okay, we got that so. All right, looks like he's uh, trying to stop the uh, bus. It looks like. Uh, oh, it's got people on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it looks like we might have a 1031 uh, with the vehicle on it. 573 is attempting to stop this bus uh, for some unknown reason I don't know why but I know there's multiple passengers on board I know if the uh, driver itself has taken them hostage or uh, what the actual plan is but we need to get the uh, bus stopped So make sure we got to clear those corners. Don't want to get hit. Oh my gosh, this vehicle's destroying everything. Uh, Metro now. If we get additional units uh, out here, we're going to be in a 1031 with a uh, looks like city bus with multiple passengers on board. Going to be southbound, Little Bighorn Ave. Postal 157. I'll uh, advise callouts. We have additional Metro units in the area. Still southbound, Little Bighorn, just crossing our Innocence Pulse at 159. Speeds are roughly uh, 40 to 50 miles an hour. Road conditions are dry, traffic is light this time. Multiple pedestrians in the area. 10 4, uh, 203 is in route. 203, a copy, uh, Metro 901. We're uh, coming up now to Carson, standby. Struck another vehicle, now northbound. Northbound on Carson, making the left turn. Left turn to go west, west on Jamestown Street. So I have uh, advised, keep it Metro advised of what's going on. Sounds like we got another uh, FCF uh, PD member from the LSPD coming in to respond to help us uh, take this bus out, or at least try to stop him anyways. Now going uh, southbound on Dutch London, postal 139. Speed's uh, still uh, roughly 40, 50 miles an hour. 
Making the right turn. Right turn to go southbound. Southbound signal. 73 from Meadow 1. When uh, 2 or 3 gets on scene, we'll try to get one of the bus and stop him. Can you see if you can get out and get the driver stopped? All right. Metro Meadow 1, he just struck my vehicle. He just struck Here's my vehicle. Muscle. 20, 20 now on Signal Street Southbound heading to Elysian Island. Golly, guys, he struck my vehicle. Still refusing to stop. Clear right. Sirens coming up behind me. All right, just made the uh, right turn. Right turn to go south on Chum. Postal 26. We're heading to the docks. Metro be advised there's multiple passengers on board. Copy that. Six on board. We're here southbound on Arbitrator Ave, Postal 27, heading to the docks here. Coming up on Postal 28. Just going around the dock here. Doesn't uh, seem to have an idea of where he wants to go. Uh, no, not at all. What's the nearest postal? Nearest postal is 28. On 28 now. Stand by now. Going back northbound. On, uh, looks, I think Arbitrator Ave is the street. We might need to spike the tires. Do something. Stop the bus. It's hard. it's hard to stop the bus. Still north on the commentator, postal uh, one zero. I've made contact with the vehicle. Got it. I don't know if there's going to be any other way that we can actually stop uh, the bus. Obviously, with a Dodge Charger and a Caprice, it's going to be pretty difficult to uh, to get it stopped. Definitely not what I was expecting right out of the gate uh, for first call, but uh, you know these things kind of happen. Um, I don't know what the reason for the initial stop. 573, I think, attempted to stop the uh, bus, and obviously the bus chose to flee, so I'm not sure what the reasoning is behind it. If we get them stopped, we'll have to catch up with them and figure out what's going on. But uh, right now, we're kind of just focusing on stopping that bus the best we can and hopefully not causing any harm to anybody on board. Now we're going uh, westbound, westbound chum. Now uh, there's Watch another, the another metro unit Enter. there. Continuing west on to Playa's Place, Postal 3-4. 2 or 3, if you want to pass on the left and try to get in front of one and spike the tires. Alright. Four. Get another LSPD unit on scene. Trying to get up there and uh, spike the uh, bus here. Hopefully we can get him stopped. This guy's all over the road. That might not be quick enough. Shooting the tires off. One tire. That'll work. Good enough for government work, I suppose. <laughs> Five PD, everybody. This is a one way exit. There might be able to set up for an extra spike. Copy that. I one. believe there are two exits. Negative. All right, 573, if you want to follow myself in 203, we can stay here and block the front entrance. Let's go back here. We'll grab spikes out of the back. He is stuck on the on the back of the building. He's stuck on the back of the building. Okay. Copy that. Coming to you. Front end pinched. He's complying at the moment out of the vehicle. Final's going to be 4-1, Playa's place. Going to have one detained. I'm showing that I have, like, wanted circles. I don't know why that is. 
So the reason for the stop originally is you had ran me into the railway crossing. I'm coming over to you. What, uh, what did you end up stopping them for? Uh, reckless driving back there by the station in Davis. Oh, okay. He tried to run me into the railway crossing gates. So, uh, basically he tried to get, get like, hit and run, or...? Um, he, I guess he didn't notice me in his blind spot, but I had my signal on the turn to go back to station, and... It ensued from there. We ended up uh, making contact a few times, as you can see by the scrapes on my uh, driver's side. Yeah, no doubt. All right, well, nice job. Nice job getting them stopped, and uh, we'll get uh, some medical down here and uh, get the uh, passengers on board checked out just for precautionary, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Yeah. I guess we'll call the uh, transport down here to get this guy picked up. Alright, sounds good, man. I'll uh, try to get the rest of these people off, and uh, we'll uh, get the bus out of here, and we'll get on down the road. Alright, so what he was advising, guys, it sounds like that uh, the bus made collision with his patrol car. I just kind of see the damage. I don't know if that's just from uh, from what happened. Uh, that's kind of cool. So, uh, 203 has got the uh, Code 3 uh, Crown Vic out. A different light set up there, but got the uh, Code 3 uh, package on that Crown Vic for the LSPD. Pretty neat. Um, but that's what the uh, stop was for. So that uh, 573 attempted to stop him, I guess, for the uh, signal 4 into his vehicle and then a potential hit and run. Uh, and then he was failure to yield and uh, requested the uh, backup for the assist. So we've got him in custody. Uh, doesn't appear anybody was injured. It looks like PT showing up on scene. We're going to get him transported and uh, we'll get these folks checked out by uh, medical and uh, hopefully uh, we can get them some rides to wherever they needed to go. But uh, all in all, I mean, considering that it was a pursuit of the bus and we had uh, just a few uh, patrol officers on duty down here in Davis, I think it uh, came to a pretty uh, fruitful end there. Nobody got uh, hurt, and it, uh, I don't appear too much damage was uh, done. But uh, we'll get the scene cleared up, and then uh, we'll get on back out there and uh, see what else we can get into. Hey guys, so uh, we just got attached to an officer uh, requesting assistance uh, up here. Uh, he got pulled from Davis for a wanted subject. He's up here on the construction site. Apparently he got out on scene and advised uh, there was a subject armed with a weapon. I don't know if it's the wanted subject, uh, but uh, we're going to come up here and try to uh, get on scene with him and figure out what's going on. He requests additional units, though, to help. I know he had that one at, uh, one at gunpoint. Okay, there they are right here. Get through these. Oh, that was not good on my end. Getting stuck in the crossfire there. Beautiful pickup truck, good lord. Metro 9197 with the uh, arm subject. I got you covered, man. Drop the wrench, sir. on scene code 4 when adult male detained. All right, looks like he uh, got him in custody, guys. Um, we'll uh, we'll talk with him, and uh, we'll see what the officer had going on. Hey, so, were you actually... Is this the guy that you had for uh, a warrant? Uh, yeah, it is. We don't have our super sexy muscle walk on. Yeah, he attacked... As soon as I got out of my truck, he uh, ran at me, tried to attack me with the uh, pipe wrench he had in his hand. Uh, okay, was that what the uh, call for uh, backup was then that came out? Yes. Uh, okay, right on, right on. All right. Uh, you got the weapon already. Uh, I'll get. Are you? Uh, are you good? Yeah, I got the weapon. Detain. I got the weapon. I'm going to be calling in. Uh, get it, get him checked out. See if it's actually sure he's wanted. If not, then we'll we'll let him go. All right, man. Sounds good. Anything from uh, myself for uh, two or three? No, I should be good from here. All right, brother. Sounds good. Stay safe out there. You too, man. I'll see you on the next one. All right, so it sounds like he uh, he came up on scene. Like I said, he got attached to that call, referenced the uh, wanted subject that was up here at the construction site. I don't know. Uh, you know, 
the uh, the construction doctor over there, I guess, <laughs> doing his construction uh, medical practice or whatever. Um, I guess he pulled a wrench, though, on uh, 573 when uh, we got on scene, and then uh, I know there was a call for uh, some a unit call for backup, and then myself and 203 got attached uh, for code 3 backup uh, in reference uh, to this call. So we got up here as fast as we could, and... Uh, he was uh, he was taken to custody without to from us drop the wrench and uh, had him called out at gunpoint and worked out pretty well I think so he's gonna get him transported verify uh, with the uh, with the dispatchers that the uh, warrant which that he has is extraditable and uh, is still current and valid we are gonna uh, clear off this call those a uh, 32 and uh, we will head back down to Davis and uh, see if we can't uh, find something else to get into all in all patrolling down to Davis I uh, really enjoy it. Um, you know, it could be hit or miss. You know, it could be that magic keyword. Quite okay. This guy just uh, ran the uh, stop sign here in front of us. We're gonna stop him and uh, see what's going on here. Get behind him and light him up. Is he really not gonna stop? That's what I want. I got a black two door failure to yield on me. Gonna be going eastbound, Roy Lane Steam Postal 138, high rate of speed. Nearest postal is going to be 151, still eastbound, coming up on Roy Loinstein's black two-door. Looks like it's occupied times one. Right, going to be making the northbound, northbound turn onto Little Bighorn Avenue. It's going to be uh, San Andreas 45, Papa Charlie Papa 81245, PCP 812, black two-door. 573 secondary. Looks like we got another LSP unit joining in. So these intersections here going to get uh, hit by 78s. Still going to be going northbound, northbound Little Bighorn Avenue, just on the San Andreas Ave. Coming up on the bus terminal, bus terminal 215 postal standby. He's reversing. What are you doing? Get out of the car. What are you for pursuit, for pursuit, white female, white female, uh, purple top, green short, she's running, uh, we're running uh, westbound, westbound on Integrity Way. Ma'am, stop, stop. Put your shoulder into her, Paul, come on. Brace, really? Oh my gosh, you think I was a rookie? Stop, quit running. Ma'am, LSPD. Stop move. Okay, is she like bugged out? She might be bugged out here. No problem. I'm gonna just, I'll hit her with the taser. Metro 901, taser deployed. Hey, see if you can get her to stop. She's a wheeze, lady. Okay. First of all, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, we're going to tackle her again, and then we're going to cup her. Because what the actual... Yeah, you're done. You're done. Super bugged out pad, but no worries. We got her. Metro 901, one at all female, 1015, 215, little bighorn, Ave, cross of integrity. Ma'am, what is going on? <sighs> Why? Uh, we gotta reopen traffic here, get my truck out of the way. Yeah, if you wanna grab my Caprice and just move the suspect vehicle off to the side, that'd be fine. Thanks, man. You, you, you no beat, problem. You beat your wife up? What? What? Why? Yeah, it's not yeah, whatever. What is your name? Yeah, whatever. No, no, no. It's not yeah, whatever. Catherine yeah, Smart. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Somebody else. Unbelievable. Yeah, Metro whatever. 91. Can I get a uh, name check? Catherine Smart. Okay, Jeez, it's really popping off in the yeah, city whatever. today, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely becoming something, man. All right, ma'am, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, can will be against the court of law. You don't have to turn present during any and all questioning. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided by the city of San Andreas. No cost to your understanding. These rights will be explained to you at this time. 
We'll come up here. We'll uh, we'll give her the uh, old Miranda rights here. You Miranda is a suspect. You advise someone else that curse you out. Do you understand? Okay. Great. So we'll stop moving them. We'll get them in the back. We'll uh. Left rear. Are you gonna uh, search the vehicle? Thanks. Did you find anything? I uh, just can't. Uh, she had sixty-one cents in the cup holder and seventy-four dollars. That's it. And what did you find in there, Opie? Uh, uh, can of sprunk and some. J stores. Just a uh, sum of uh, nice. U.S. currency. That's it. Okay. All right, ma'am. You know why you're gonna be going to jail? Uh, for obviously the uh, the fleeing and eluding and the uh, the resisting arrest without violence. So the uh, the initial uh, reason for the stop, uh, she ran the uh, stop sign on Grove and Brogue, and then I tried to stop her, and she took off on me. So Should yeah, I noticed you guys coming up right behind me. She almost uh, nailed it back in my truck. Yeah, so she'll be going to jail for the uh, fleeing and then uh, the uh, careless driving as well as resisting without violence. So appreciate the backup, guys. All right. No problem. Man. No problem. Well, I'll get tow over here for this. Thanks, man. Gotcha, another one. Can I get a uh, personal transport for a adult female? Alright, we'll get a personal transport route for her. Oh, look at that. 573, can I get uh, tow down here as well for a black buccaneer? Alright, so 573 is calling for the tow. Looks like PT is showing up. Hey guys, what's going on? I got a female back here. She failed to yield for me, ran on me. Oh yeah, no problem, brother! Oh right, yeah, thanks, man. You sound like Marcus for some reason. It's so weird. Alright, so we got Toe coming for that one. He's protecting it with the AR-15. Love that. Marka. And, uh... Once we get the uh, scene cleaned up here, we will uh, head on back down to Davis and see what else we can get into. So it's just uh, heading back down here to Davis, and uh, dispatch this radio, and there was an officer over on pillbox. Emergency activations. We got a panic button press. I don't know what caused the uh, panic button being pressed. Uh, but we're going to be in route to it. Trying to get over there as fast as we can and help this officer out. I don't know uh, what the status of the officer is. Uh, it was clearly a, a panic button press, um, and then we got attached to it. Holy! Shots fired, shots fired! I don't want to get an officer down, multiple subjects down. Let's throw up a, uh, let's throw up a speed zone here. And uh, see if we can't go and assist the uh, the officer here that's down. We're moving up on the vehicle. Don't don't move, dude. Try to push up on them. Secure that weapon. Cough them. What in the heck is going on? Where's your nearest postal? Nearest postal 389. 389. Metro 901. Can I uh, get a rescue and uh, started for four subjects that are down? Good. Copy that, Lord. 10 Lord. Let's get an ambulance out here. Oh my gosh, that was wild. He's pressing his panic button because he's literally having a friggin' gunfight with these guys. Nearest postal is uh, 389, 389, medicals rolling 7. Two. S Two dead, two are revived. Well, it looks like the officer's gonna be okay. Carry 216 in service, out of Sandy. Sounds like we got a uh, county here to go to town. That's, uh, that's good. Alright, ma'am, you're gonna be under arrest. Face the vehicle. No? I'm one of the suspects in custody. 573 Metro. Good. Show me 10-8 out of, uh, Vinewood. I could do two things at once, because I can multitask. Alright, we're going to search this female, see anything, if she's got anything on her. $32 cash, and, uh, what's her name, ma'am? Metro 901, can I get a name check on Carrie Espinoza? She 
she's clean Val, so I guess she just chose violence today when she woke up. Just shooting people for no reason. All right, Carrie. Well, we're going to take you with me. Actually, I want to uh, drag you because I don't trust you. Hey, 16 will be responding to a storm on ambulance. East Joshua Road. To, uh, we got uh, Copy that, 10 four. county units on the uh, radio channel as well. That's, uh, that is cool to hear. I'm going to take her back. We've got uh, other, off oh man, we got a bunch of Metro units on scene now. Holy moly, that was pretty awesome to see them roll up on scene like that. It helped me out when I called out for uh, backup in the car, man. Are you understanding why you're going to be in custody, right? Uh, open and fire on uh, officers and then uh, let the uh, detectives follow up with you at the station, okay? Yeah, whatever, man. Go after some. Oh, cool. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. God bless you. Yep. Have a good one. All right. 216, have that ambulance under. Sound muted. All right, yeah. I, uh, I rolled up on scene here, and uh, the gentleman here in the black shirt had an AK 47. He was firing at a uh, female and another subject, as well as the officer, the sheriff's deputy over there. Uh, these two are signal seven. I got one female in custody. Uh, we're going to have the detectives follow up with her, but. Uh, I don't know if you can question the sheriff and see if uh, get anything out of him. I'm gonna call corner and get corner and route. Already. All I'll right. talk to him. Thanks, buddy. Sound resumed. Metro 901. Can I get a corner down here for two signal sevens? It's clear from that, uh, right. We'll get corner and route. Uh, Mr. Uh, 203 Officer Opie over there. Uh, the guys are doing an awesome job. we got a uh, traffic control back there as well, too, making sure we don't get run over with the speed zone. Oh, Doc, what's going on? Thanks so much for your rapid response. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, we're going to get them... Uh, the bodies transported. We're going to get this uh, female transported downtown to the station. She's going to meet with detectives, and uh, she can explain for why she chose to uh, open fire on... Uh, the other pedestrians that were here, and then the officers will too. We'll have to follow up the deputy and see what's going on. So we'll have her meet with the detectives, and then uh, hopefully they can kind of give us a little bit more insight to uh, what exactly is going on. All right, guys, uh, we just got attached to a suspect uh, with a warrant uh, up here in uh, Burton. Apparently he's out here and has a warrant. Uh, they attached me and a couple other units to go up here and uh, check it out. So we're all uh, coming up this way to us, see if we can't find him, make contact with him. Um, not too sure what's going to happen when we go on scene. Hopefully, uh, I know earlier we responded to an officer that uh, found a uh, suspect with a warrant on the uh, construction site. I'm not thinking that it's going to be the same thing, but because of uh, what happened earlier, that's cool. Love to see that. Just cut me right off. Um, bringing in the uh, Calvary Iron stops in there, so it's funny how... Don't be a hypocrite! Um... So bring some uh, extra muscle with me, and uh, when we get on scene here, we're going to see if we can find him, hopefully take him into custody without uh, any issues, and uh, get him on down to the jail, or just verify that they are the person that we're looking for, and uh, see if they actually have a warrant. All right, we're coming 97 in the area. I've got somebody up here with their hands out. Metro 901. Looks like we've got a subject uh, standing in the roadway with a weapon right hand. Oh, Units are 97 and code 5. Alright, we're going to code 5 and we're on scene. I got additional units on here with me. I don't want challenging one. Sir, if you can hear me, drop that weapon, okay? Two or three if you want to move up with me and cover me. I have lethal. I'll go less than that. Don't move, okay? You're gonna get tased if you do. Veteran, I don't want to have uh, one uh, subject uh, detained. Alright, we'll secure his weapon. Alright, man, let's go up on the sidewalk and figure out what's going on, okay? I won't uh, drag him just yet. He seems to be cooperative and gave up here. Tell me what's going on, all right? What's your name? Morton Burnett. Let's uh, let's run Morton and uh, see what uh, he's got going on. You got a warrant, Morton? Dispatch can you advise? Oh, he doesn't have a warrant. 
That's odd. Okay. Hey, Opie. Can you yes. can you run a Morton Burnett? Yep. Like I said, man, you're not under arrest right now. You're just being detained. We got a call saying that you potentially had an outstanding warrant. Two sixteen. So, uh, Five seven three Metro. Five seven three. Good. Look at me. Look at me. Traffic, I'm uh, multitasking. Traffic stop uh, at uh, six nine nine. Copy 699, advice street name. Uh, Palomino Ave. Copy 1050, 699 Palomino Ave at uh, 046. 911, what was the name? It's gonna be a Morton, Burnett, Mike, Oscar, Romeo, Tango, Oscar, November, M O R T O N. Last name Burnett, Bravo, Uniform, Romeo, November, Echo, Tango, Tango. Date of birth, 12984. Suspect comes back with a expired fishing license. Tap warrant. Is he an outstanding warrant? No. No outstanding warrant or active warrant and no criminal record. Alright, tap warrant. All right, man, well, here's the deal. Uh, we ran your stuff in the uh, computer, and uh, you don't have a warrant. Uh, we are going to hang on to your wrench, though. We don't want you to walk around uh, with a giant wrench potentially uh, knocking somebody on the head with it. So we're going to turn it back around. I'll uncuff you, and uh, we'll send you on down the way, okay? Oh, my gosh. Whatever's going on on the radio right now sounds violent. All right, man. Free to go. All right, man. Appreciate the backup. No problem. And sometimes that happens. Five seven three. Five seven three. Show uh, back ten eight uh, citation given for uh, invalid registration. Tough one. And sometimes that happens. So we uh, we went on scene with him. Officers and I uh, came in here. We codified the uh, suspect. He uh, wasn't wanted. So we uh, just went ahead and uh, cut him loose. I'm hanging on to his wrench, though. Don't know how I feel about uh, someone running around with a wrench, uh, potentially knocking somebody on the hand with it. So, get him sent on down the road. These units are going to clear it up back in service and uh, head back down into the uh, Davis uh, area here, Strawberry area, and see if we can't be of assistance and uh, go from there. All right. So a call just came in. I know these units here are just uh, I don't know. Yeah, you stop them with that radar gun. Um, Mention another one coming in the area. We got a, a call about a uh, unconscious person in the uh, general area. Um, notes were pretty. Uh... Oh wow, they're in the middle of the road. one. I got a subject down in the middle of the road. I don't know if this was a hit and run or, or what, but we're gonna let's go ahead and. Uh, Metro 901, I need a medical. I got a subject down the road. Head for medic in route. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a uh, speed zone up. It's the only language they understand. I don't know what uh, that lady's clearly upset. We had a down subject here. I'm gonna get to uh, medical en route. Um, I know they advised her on the way. I'll just uh, kind of switch over to the fire channel, see if they are in fact en route. I have no idea what happened. Uh, we got the vehicle stopped here. Can I get a one additional unit for traffic control? Metro 901, can I have additional unit for traffic control? And 4 nearest postal. Postal's going to be 697, Portola Drive, northbound. 203 is en route. 573. Got 573. In pursuit of a uh, black small sports car. Northbound on Strawberry. We'll get additional units here to uh, you shortly. Hey, firm. Close postal 203. Entering the uh, 13 now. 
any of them being moved back uh, five seven three for a vehicle pursuit uh, being around. Sound muted. All right, so uh, medical came on scene. Hey, she's gonna be uh, single seven. All right. Would, would you mind grabbing a camera and taking some pictures? Just take some notes here. So uh, we had uh, what appeared to be some type of uh, hit and run. Uh, we got Opie out here with us. Uh, I'm gonna grab my notepad out of my patrol bag here. I just note the uh, crime scene. Opie's gonna take a couple pictures for detectives. Um, I know you guys kind of saw as we rounded the corner, you know, just laying in the middle of the road here. Um, not too sure what actually happened. Um, requested medical right away, but uh, they were unable to resuscitate her via her injuries. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get uh, detectives in route. We're gonna process this uh, scene. Um, you know, responded uh, something over there, and uh, get them down here and have them uh, you know take over the scene and process. And hopefully they can kind of piece together. Maybe do a canvas, search some uh, cameras, and uh, figure out uh, what exactly uh, happened to this uh, this pedestrian. Got a uh, unit over here that just checked out with a car that was uh, left in the middle of the road. Go stop by and uh, see what's going on with that. Looks like it was just left in the middle of the road. That's such a peculiar place to leave a vehicle. I don't know if it was stolen or, or what's the deal with it, but uh, beautiful 14 uh, Charger. Love that thing. What a beaut. Hey, brother, what do you got? 095 requesting a tow. Oh, uh, just this car sitting in the middle of the road. Was just parked here like this? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, huh, interesting. Okay. Interesting. That's so odd. I've never seen anything like that before. All right, man. Well, uh, I'll hang out for uh, traffic control until the uh, tow gets here. Just uh, thought that was so odd that a vehicle would just be left in the middle of the road like that. It really is weird. How many times do you just drive down yeah, the road, especially in an odd. area like in uh, Davis? Must must have been like what is it stolen? To get to their job or something. Don't. Um, I actually <laughs> forgot to check that. Uh, think, it uh, seems to be. Was, it uh, seems to have, have no flags, uh, so. Okay, just maybe not enter still yet. All right, man. No worries. Well, when the tow gets here, we'll uh, or maybe it is here. It's just stuck. It looks like. Um, we'll help you get it cleared out of the roadway, and then uh, no problem. All right. Thank you. No worries, man. Just another day in uh in Ellis. Oh, there you go. I love the energy. Whoopsies. I don't want to. I don't want to TV it. We can uh, call a. Uh, we call a tow truck here for it. We'll see if that'll work for it. But yeah, we'll get this thing towed. And uh, interesting find. Can't say I've ever seen that before. We got uh, a couple of LSPD units down here tied up on it. Hopefully, uh, get some traffic moving along the way here. Get tow sorted, and then uh, get these units freed up and uh, back available for calls. It seems to be uh, stacking up and getting busy down here in Davis. No on Roaring and Lucy Boulevard. Boulevard. Postal is one three seven. Can I get additionals? Definitely. I don't want to start that way. Five seven three is directly behind him. Sounds like we got a uh, unit. I was over there just minding my own business, making my way downtown, walking fast, and I'm on Shots fired! Shots fired! On my vehicle. And there it is. You gotta love it. All right, so uh, two or three called out with shots on his vehicle. Vehicle is black four door sedan. 20s. Yeah, closing. Little Bighorn 158 North Little Bighorn. Oh, there they are. The suspect's still shooting. Still North Little Bighorn. Updated postal 156. Multiple shots fired on my vehicle. Tough one. 901 is third. 901 if you're Shots fired again. Around. More shots. Tough one. I'll pass the left. The uh, Dodge, I think it's a Dodge. Sierra over right there. And one second, I gotta take up a call. It's, uh, it's a black four door. He's uh, pulling around here. Shots fired! Shots fired! 
Mr. Crouch, stupid! Let's try to move out Primary, uh, 753. I lost eyes. Where the... I have eyes. Under, went through the tunnel. Air postal is... One, uh, 396. Uh, westbound anti... Vehicle is still shooting heavy shots. They're still shooting at him. We're trying to get over here to Multiple shots now. fired. There the units are over there. Uh, I thought now taking the left, around. left, left onto Alta Street. Oh, You're supposed to go 389 southbound Alta Street. Pirate to speed. Still shots fired. Alright, I'm trying to get caught back up to this pursuit here. Still south Alta. You're supposed to go 382 south Alta Street. Alta and Adam's Apple. Still sh more shots fired. Here's supposed to 384. Multiple shots. 20s? Here's supposed to 388. Now taking a westbound Davis Street Avenue. Heading towards the airport. Air Specials 8-4. Still going down south. Davis. Suspect took the exit. New Empire Way. Air Special 9-7. Oh man, these guys are moving. I cannot catch up to them. Sounds like they're right in front of me. Okay. Let's see if we can get up here and back up. 795, I'll be back at the police station. So yeah, I do, thought, uh, uh, police cruiser. He was going to uh, get him stopped and turn around, but I guess not uh, when they stopped there. Location, uh, Los Santos International Airport. Yeah, I'm going to get you stopped. Uh, Alright, so we're going to get you stopped and turn around, but I guess not uh, when they stopped there. Location, uh, Los Santos International Airport. Yeah, I'm going to get you stopped. Alright, so we're going to get you stopped and turn around, but I guess not uh, when they stopped there. Location, uh, Los Santos International Airport. Yeah, I'm going to get you stopped and turn around, but I guess not uh, when they stopped there. Might have to take him out here in a second. 203 is going to set up for mobile spike strips. Just coming around the uh, terminal building now. We're on the uh, south side of the parking garage, making the loop. Alright, coming back around the bend now, now northbound New Empire Way. If you're in position 203, you can take the uh, shots on the tires. Cutting across here, uh, taking the exit, taking the exit to go uh, northbound on exceptionalist way. I lost all of myself now. Northbound exceptionalist way, postal 85. I've got the first person part of this pursuit in a while. Oh, jeez. Maybe eastbound, eastbound Autopia Parkway 86. We do know they're armed and dangerous, so if they crash out and they try to flee them, likely I would imagine open fire on us. I lost all my uh, my backup. What is going on? So eastbound on Utopia Parkway. Head for behind you. Postal seven one coming around the bend here. Shots still being fired. I got units with him in a tip pit. Go ahead. I don't know. Oh, sh shots fired, shots fired. Alright, we gotta take him out. He's. Oh, he sh just shot a civilian. He shot a civilian. God, get out, dummy. Officer down. Officer down, rolling medical. Can you hear me? Left one ten, Davis. Yeah. Holy yeah, gosh, she almost got ran over. All right, man. I just got a medical on the way. You sit tight, okay? I'm gonna get one at gunpoint. Hands up.
Let's get a speed zone going so we don't get run over here. We got one officer down. We got one ten fifteen. The car is occupied times two. Hey, do you want to go help him? I got uh, I got the downed officer. Ten four. He's, he's got two detained. Thanks, Gomer. All right, man. Medicals here. They're gonna get you looked at. Okay, just sit tight. We're gonna help you over to the ambulance. Hey, five seven three. We're, we're gonna come down and uh, help you out. Five's uh, postal again. All right, man. Let's get you up in there. We are uh, three eight seven, just down the road from uh, the initial t attempt. Copy that. Officers getting transported now. Call them tow first vehicle. You got a unit rolling your way. Yeah, they got on scene. Oh, we got one ten fifteen. There's still one person in the car. Temple should be on me, so. All right, so we uh, rendered aid uh, to Officer uh, OB two hundred three. We'll go ahead and secure our trunk here. Seven nine five. I'll be on call for animal cruelty. Passengers out of the car, hands up. We got her at gunpoint. Get towing around here, and we'll uh, we'll head down to the scene after uh, after once they well, after they pick up the vehicle. There, so right. words are hard. <laughs> uh, we'll pick up the car here, and then uh, we'll head down, clear that speed zone. Two ten fifteen at this time. Good, good job, good job. That's good job. Oh, there they are down there. I guess that's where the vehicle crashed out at. Had a speed zone up here. It looks like they got him in custody. Good lord! Look at all the bullets riddled into uh, into this car. Luckily, uh, they were able to get them stopped. We did uh, have one officer go down. He looked like he was going to be non-critical, though. Don't think go Chief's going to like the front of my truck. Uh, no, but I mean, hey, the job's done. Yep. Good work. Good job. So, uh, sir, search of both pit, uh, both suspects they were both armed okay do you uh, want to secure them in the vehicle yep I got her all right sounds good that was a good job by both of them looks like they're gonna get them uh, into the uh, in the vehicles here get transport you want to your truck you want me to put oh, the God, Got to give it to these guys, man. These guys are doing a great job uh, for just starting out. Super proud of them. Oh wow, we took a couple shots in the uh, windshield there. Look at that. Look, we didn't. Uh, we don't have any bullet holes in us, so that's good. Super, super proud of them. Got to say, I got to love uh, the uh, FCF department. These guys are absolutely killing it, going above and beyond, uh, taking these guys down. They do uh, exceptionally, exceptionally well. Yeah, throw him up. You want to throw him? Oh, you got him in there. Okay, no worries. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay, we'll throw them both in the uh, explorer. Sounds good, e man. So they got them arrested, and they're gonna call the uh, personal transport, and then uh, they'll likely take them down to the uh, station and uh, have the tech teams pick them up, get them processed, interview them, figure out what was going on. I don't really originally know what uh, 203 was uh, pursuing them for. I think we'll follow up uh, with him at the detectives at a later date to kind of figure out what uh, exactly happened and kind of led to the uh, pursuit going on and the uh, shots being fired. But uh, these guys did a great job. PT's on the way. I think uh, 573 is about to get the tow and route for him and then uh, be able to open the road back up get uh, traffic moved again so proud of them did a good job no well, i guess uh i guess it's uh, coffee time and clipboard time i guess i'll just kind of stand over here and uh, you know hang out with my arms crossed <laughs> gotta love it um i think that's a good uh spot to uh, put a pin in it for uh, episode two guys i hope you enjoyed the uh, wild ride this evening definitely started off to quiet and uh, as the night progressed it definitely got uh, progressively more busy <laughs> more busy more better Huge so shout out to the uh, FCF uh, flight crew fan members who uh, hopped in the uh, PD server and uh, assisted with the uh, backup and the additional calls, taking calls this evening uh, here in Los Santos for the LSPD. Really enjoy it. Guys, if you enjoyed episode two, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. And uh, until next time, got to focus on the vehicle, right?
I will uh, see you all for episode three. More vehicles, more patrols, and more 5PD uh, FCF members to join. Much love to you all. Hope you're having an awesome week, and we will catch you all on episode three. We will see you.